Well, I've been very impressed with the results of the treatments provided here at the Institute of Applied Dermatology. We in the West, in London, provide the same allopathic approach in terms of treatment for lymphedema. But the results here are as good if not better. And I can only attribute to those better results the integrated uh, medicine approach and in particular the addition of Ayurveda and yoga. Uh, the particular example I use is infection, is a big problem in patients with lymphedema. And we in the West use a lot of antibiotics, both for acute episodes but also as a long-term prevention treatment and still we don't overcome the infections. Here, the infection rate once treatment has started reduces from something like 96% down to 4%. That is quite remarkable. And I think it's down to the use of the Ayurvedic oils and the particular Ayurvedic skin care that's provided to these patients. So we need to find out more about this, but it's a very good example of how the, the integrated approach using allopathic medicine and Ayurvedic medicine work together successfully. Most, if not all, the patients are due to filariasis. But uh, careful consultation and examination of the patients reveals that, yes, filarial lymphedema is common, but we're also seeing a lot of other causes previously unrealized, and particularly forms of primary lymphedema. Primary lymphedema means that there is a probable genetic uh, reason for the development of the lymphedema and indeed there may be genetic factors that determine filarial lymphedema but we're confident that some at least of these filarial lymphedemas are not due to filariasis and they're due to other causes and in particular genetic forms of lymphedema. Well we need research to uh, answer the questions, the many questions we have about what causes lymphedema, what's the mechanism, uh, what's the best treatment. And the, I, the approach here in terms of uh, adopting research, using, collecting lots of data to analyze, to understand what's being seen, uh, what the results are from treatment. But in addition to that, uh, Dr. Narahari has uh, invited us specifically to look at the genetic aspects of some of these patients. And as we've seen in the clinics, these patients have primary lymphedema for which uh, the genes are now known. That is something that we in London have been very instrumental in doing, which is finding genetic causes for lymphedema. So that means that Dr. Narahari can with the right resources and collaborations from other universities and hospitals around, we'll be able, funds permitting, to be able to diagnose these patients better and then even introduce research projects himself to find the genetic causes of many of the patients for which genes are not known. So this process will require collaborations which I can see from this colloquium are already happening and funding to make sure that the necessary genetic tests can be done.